Hi, betting experts. On Wednesday, the 1st of December, we're off to Haydock on Wednesday. Well, hopefully we are. There's an f- inspection on Tuesday afternoon. This course is partially frozen with all the snow that's been up in the Manchester area uh, since the weekend, really. But hopefully they'll get the go ahead. It's a really good car for midweek with some interesting racing. We start off with our value angle selection in the 250. This is the Juice and Altrincham Veterans Handicap Chase. Three mile, one furlong, 125 yards. Class two for 10 year olds and upwards. 11,700. Seven pounds on offer to the winner. It's attracted a 12 runner field. I think Venetia Williams' ASO is the one to side, but he's down to a mark of 147. He was 168 at his peak, so he's 21 pounds lower. He is now 11. I thought there was plenty to take from his run at Cheltenham a couple of weeks ago behind Midnight Shadow. Shadow is only beaten 17 lengths, then he took a right bad blunder at the second fence which put him out of contention basically he got back into it halfway and then weakened out of other things but he wasn't beaten all that far and the handicap has given him a chance now now i think he'll get a positive front running ride here from charlie deutsch he stays extreme distances he's got a really good record he's an eight time winner in his career 11 times in the frame from 39 starts when he's played in he's a reliable stick it's been a few years since he last won you have to go back to 2019 at cheltenham off a mark of 158 under Charlie Deutsch but he's not been disgraced I'm not sure the handicap is certainly reacting quickly I'm not sure his powers have deteriorated as much as his sliding mark suggests and I think from the front here he could bounce right back to his best if Charlie Deutsch is able to dictate matters for our nap of the day we go to the 115 this is the Juice and he- St Helens Maiden Hurdle 3 miles 58 yards class 4 for 4 year olds and up was £4,357 on offer to the winner I think this is a really good opportunity for Nicky Henderson's another brown bear to get off the mark over hurdles. Now, he was a useful winning pointer in the past and he started off over hurdles quite well back, but very disappointing at Utoxter on the 3rd of October, beaten miles by the bomber list and getting very tired. But at Ludlow, again, he was a big price on this occasion. He's unbacked, actually, sent off 12 to 1, but he went from the front with zest under James Byrne, just worn down by the ready winner, Current Mood. Now, Current Mood has been tried in hot company since and well beaten, but I wouldn't take that as a negative to the form. I think that was a reasonable race for the track, and I suspect this more galloping trap and a step up to three miles will suit another brown bear he's very much a chaser on looks a relentless galloper and i should think he'll take plenty of passing here best of luck on wednesday betting experts